Hi everyone, how are you? This is Diego from Colombia, El Flaco, and today I want to present to all of you this brand new data table that I was able to design from scratch in Figma. Of course, after the Config 22, I, I could not resist the desire. And in fact, on the plane, on the way back to Colombia, I started to try all the new features we have right now in Figma and I have managed to build this table that I want to show you. So let's get into it. So few things here uh, before to start. Uh, yeah, it's the same way adding a table inside a frame which has defined a uh, grid. In that way, you will be able to just re re resize the layout or the frame and your table will respond. The size will be uh, there in the same way and of course you need to define the constraints in the proper way and in that way the content will respond. Um, other few things there you could explore uh, different ways to organize your layout so for instance if you need to to fix your header there you could try things like this one let me just go here and if I just scroll this content your header will be there you don't need to actually fix the content there it is just here and the, by creating a scroll and adding uh, to that the verti vertical scrolling you could nest inside of it the table and you will have that behavior the same for this one to the um, having the columns fixed you could have things like that someone asked me if it's possible to fix both at the same time and I would say my first answer would be no. There are ways to, tricky ways to, to have something similar, but to be honest, it is like it, it, you need to complicate yourself a lot to bring something like this. So in some cases, it would be easier to just go ahead and show your devs the, the tables that actually have has that behavior. And yeah, do not spend too much time creating. So yeah, th those complex prototypes there just we are not ready there to, to 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 work something like that right now so yeah let's get into it and let me show you here the options that that we could have combining everything there mixing everything so let me just turn this in off and let's say that i want to prepare this table and i'm just bringing the table directly from the component i create this component here in my inner design system and I only detach this I'm detaching the table that contains the columns but I'm not detaching the atom of course the idea is to have it always connected with your design system right with your styles and everything there so as you may notice I'm using the same component and depending on the type the type of the cell you would see that the properties below are changing. This is the first great thing that we have here. We don't need to have a complex, a lot of options or alternatives there for the designer to select. Just depending on the one that you need, the options below are going to be displayed. So for instance, here I have regular data and I have the data layer. Yes, as you notice, we can just directly go here and change it. In the case that you have only one, it's not way much difference but if you have many you could just go directly and put here user username your data and it will change everything in once what else do we have here for instance you could show subtitles on things like that a secondary text there below and it will boom change everything from here and let's say that you have here an avatar so you could have it and in special cases you could just swap your, your instance to initial or things like that. I do not create all as, a, as a, um, properties, but you can just go ahead and access it if is your case. And of course, continue using the capabilities that we have in the, in the rest of the things, right? You don't need to create everything in properties and unless that's your most common use case. But yeah, in this example, that's not the need. So for instance, here I need to, I don't know, I want to add, this is the same data type of cell that I have. 
and with the same one you could create all these cases so for instance to have this or two I don't know what would be that case but when, if you notice every time that I turn it on as I have it defined it as um, uh, to be switchable right the, to change the instance so I have access to the other ones here so let's say I, I just wanted to check only two and you could do it here what else do we have here this is something great that I am I'm, I'm in love with it it's yeah using the regular data the same that I have let's say that I want uh, that I have a huge text here so let me just go here and in plugins Lauren Ipsum of course I need to select this one oh, what happened here it is here I can generate a long text let's add it here let's turn off this one and I just add here and as now we have this awesome property the truncated text um, we can have the ellipses there and of course again is responsible if I change the size it will act automatically adjust everything this is absolutely amazing it's saving me tons of yeah energy and time uh, that I was there creating this and when they asked me to change something it was always uh, really hard to, to do it I also explore things like this one what would happen if I have two two columns in the same row to add for instance um, currencies or numbers or things like that you could turn it on and off that property and continue having align it to the right the content if it's your case um, for instance in the case of the actions you can just go ahead here I create this one which is a simple one having just uh, four or, or yeah the maximum size was using four actions right and I can in each case just go ahead and change it if I need it right if it's the, the case of course I prepare all the icons here in an organized wise way to help me to do that but let's say that I just need the edit or and the yeah let's put it more and turn this off of course at the column is uh, this the, the width is set it as a hack it will hack the content there depending on the size that you have here let's say that here I don't want the expand so I just can go ahead and turn it off and it will respect everything a really important thing here that I work or, or that I still want to have uh, despite we have this new cool feature to separate the, the, the stroke, the border, but I find this way to handle the borders, creating the effect border using the space in the auto layout, I find it more useful, more quickly for my case. So let's let me show you. Let's say that I need here I need here, I don't know, a separate way to create this one. So I just can go ahead here and add my borders if it's the case or not. Or let's say that I need all at the same size or whatever you have here right um, you just can go ahead directly let me just put it like this right and you can of course the color also change it from here so in my case I think that it's really useful and let's say that I don't want to have border here I just turn it off and boom everything works there and if even if you want to separate or create a border for a column you can you can go ahead there and put it as we have the background there you can change it so I have the background here and let's say that I have I don't know one huge table border table there you can just go ahead and do it in this way so for me it's really 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 useful I like it a lot to use it in that way so I'm, I'm still using it like that right what else do we have here let me just show you the last ones that we have let's say that you need an input text field so it is there you have it and you have your input label you can just add a helper text of course in this case you need to adjust the other rows it will be easier like if you have the, the height there which is 60 you will go ahead directly and oops sorry there you will have here the rest of them and you just, need, you just need to go here and change them uh, to fix it and mention that you need a 60 boom there you have it the table and everything it's there it is not so automatically that adjusted here because you need to decide 
a, a way to do it. You cannot mix everything in the same place. So, but, but it's really useful also to have this type of uh, capabilities there, right? Let me just leave it this as it was before. And let me show you another special case. Let's say that you need both buttons, right? So in this case, if I change this one to buttons, I decided, because in this case, the buttons is a little bit more complex, to nest inside of it the properties. So from the first level, you won't see here the properties. So how you can access to them, you just by entering your keyboard, you will have access to the properties that are there. Of course, the same things, you can change your label and special cases like this one, using the great uh, feature that we have the absolute position, I can turn it on and we have boom, voila, our, our dot that it's showing a batch there, right? And also using the, by using the, um, the absolute position, I create, I have created this one, which is a select option that before it was really hard to do something like this, to have in the same column, uh, yeah, content that shows up over the rest of the content without changing everything or moving all the things around there that it was really complex. So now we have it there, it's up absolute position and it's working really, really great. So uh, yeah, I think that this is pretty much everything you won't believe me how simple is behind the scenes this component. Let me show you. It is just this, using the same cell, the same component, nothing more than this, separating, of course, depending on the way of using it. And after that, as I mentioned, if you select the data, then uh, the, the component will show you the properties that you need there. And I just created few more variants inside this variant, but it depends on the case. If you need it, you could do it. If, if, if you want to handle things yeah, in a simple way, you just can go ahead and by naming them in an organized way, you will have access from here uh, directly in the properties. So I'm enjoying this a lot. This is, has been really, really amazing to have all these properties. So yeah, I'm looking forward to to hearing from you guys, what are you doing with this type of tables and with these uh, new properties that we have in Figma. And thank you very much. See you next time.